A government delegation has left for the Chinese capital of Beijing to attend the China-Africa Cooperation Coordinators Meeting, where they expect to further discuss with China's Exim Bank on financing the Standard Gauge Railway Project. Works and Transport Minister Monica Zuba told NTV before departure that discussions on the financial closure of the SGR alone is high on the agenda. This will be discussed uh, together with uh, the Minister of Transport from Kenya and uh, also with uh, the President of the People's Republic of China uh, to see the way forward uh, because Uganda is lagging behind and uh, we want to break that delay, which is seemingly happening. For almost six years now, government has been discussions with China about financing the multi-billion dollar railway, but the Chinese have not been forthcoming. According to sources, the reluctance by the Chinese is due to several reasons, including Uganda's high debt stock and the seemingly bleak project economics. Azuba said most of the pending issues have been worked out, including a fresh fiscal analysis of the project, which will be submitted at the meeting next week. Exim Bank's concern as of last year was the seamlessness, uh, to be a seamless project. It is a project by four countries, and uh, the issue was seamlessness, and the second one was the fiscal analysis. They wanted the fiscal analysis of the project, ours, and that one we have done, and we have completed it. Uh, so, this information will be uh, presented to them. Besides the fresh fiscal analysis, government also went back to the negotiating table with the contractor, China Harbour Engineering Company, leading to a reduction in the project price by 400 billion shillings from 8.5 trillion shillings to 8.1 trillion shillings. Certain areas, for example, the route was going through tunnels, the tunnels was remo were removed, we don't have to go through tunnels. The route was going through the forests and uh, the route was changed. Uh, but even when the route was changed, the price had not changed. So those were the areas that we were looking at. So it, is, it was negotiations, those sort of negotiations. Were, and we also looked at the clauses which we thought we are not favoring Uganda. The meeting in Beijing, attended by officials from 53 African countries, is a follow-up to last year's China-Africa Cooperation Heads of State Summit during which Chinese President Xi Jinping gave 224 trillion shillings in new funding for Africa. In the new round of funding, the main interest for Uganda and Kenya is the loan for the Standard Gauge Railway. Kenya is currently finalizing construction of the Nairobi to Naivasha section, but the prospect of finances for the remaining two sections connecting to Malab remains bleak. The SGR was initially conceived as a regional infrastructure project to run from Mombasa port to Kampala with links to Kigali and Juba. The first section of Uganda's SGR is expected to run 273 kilometers from Malaba to Kampala. However, the start date of construction remains unknown as officials wait for China to make up its mind on financing.